All right, I'm here with Edwin Mason Ed, who's starting to play British. Edwin, thank you for your time. Thank you. So uh, after your sophomore year at Juco and Moorhead, you uh, decided to go to the MLB draft, and you didn't get drafted. So why do you think you weren't drafted? Um, maybe because of the vision I play. Like sometimes players don't get drafted, even though they put good numbers. The scouts they don't think that's a good competition. So that's maybe why. I don't know. seriously, I don't know why. And then so you decided to quit baseball after that. Why did you decide to quit? Do you think? Because uh, I want to stay home with my family, and in Puerto Rico we have uh, different leagues that I thought I could make money and start going to school over there. And that's when I got the call from Coach Kinson. Yeah, so like you said, Delta State gave you the chance to play baseball. How did that happen, and how happy were you to get a second chance? Uh, I was excited. I mean, I was excited to come back to the States because uh, it's always been my dream you know, to play professional baseball. And the only way to go through it was to come back to college. And it happened, I was just at home with my friend, and the day before school started, he called me. And he told me that he'd been talking to my friends that went to uh, Moorhead, and that I was available. If I wanted to go back, and say yes. That's awesome. Then you were drafted in 2003 by the Astros. You spent a couple of years there, and then you made your debut. What do you remember most about your debut? Uh, running the bases, being scared because yeah. uh, it was in uh, Colorado, and I was sitting down. It was like the seventh inning, and the bench coach told me, "If Marco Rena gets on base, you're gonna run." And next pitch, he got on. I didn't have a helmet. I wasn't ready, huh. and so I got just grabbed the helmet, got there. I was shaking. The Delta went up. Welcome to the game. I'm like, oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> scared. And then you spent a couple years there. Then you signed with the Brewers in 2010. And obviously the best moment was when you hit the Grand Slam. How did you feel at that moment being the hero for that game? Uh, I felt amazing. I felt like I, I ran the bases for like two hours. <laughs> I was running around and everything was so slow. And you know, then the court is called. It was amazing. And great group of guys too. Like, yeah. Really good guys. And so now 2014 you post Somerset. What do you enjoy about being on this team? Uh, my teammates. Yeah. Like I feel like here it's, uh, we're all together. And like, sometimes when you play professional ball like or in uh, organizations, yeah. You know, people are trying to get to the next level, so sometimes uh, it's a little bit of uh, self uh, self selfish league or whatever uh, you want to call it. Yeah. And it's kind of hard to get a team together like that, and especially in AAA, making so many moves, yeah. guys coming in and out, it's kind of hard to get the, the bond in on the team. But here it's just amazing. Everybody knows, you know, we're going to play hard, we're going to win, and at the end we could win a championship. Yeah, that's actually my next question. You guys think you can win a championship with this team? Oh, definitely, definitely. We got, you know, we got great pitching, great defense, offense. So all we got to do, you know, is put it together. Because yeah. sometimes you got all the elements, but if you don't put them together in the game, it's so that's why baseball is so hard because you have to put everything together. Yeah. Sometimes your offense is good, but the pitching is not there or the defense. So if we put them all together, I, I feel like we're the best team on the field. All right. So now I got some fun questions. Who's the most famous team or most famous player you've ever met and played with? Most famous that I played with, I want to say Posh. Oh, yeah. Dave Rodriguez. And what's the other one? Uh, ever met. Ever Talk met? Uh, ooh, that's a hard question. I don't know. <laughs> that's a tough question, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I want to say maybe Roberto Alomar. Oh, yeah. Hall of Famer. Yeah. And what's the best piece of advice someone ever told you? And who said it? Uh, it's a lot of people. I want to say a lot of people. A lot of people in the big leagues, especially because every time you get there, everything changes. You know, you're trying to do too much sometimes, yeah. trying to press people to stay there. But, you know, they always tell you it's a game, have fun, and just do your, you know, do your best. Don't try to do more than whatever you can. You're capable. Yeah. Uh, what do you do in the offseason to prepare for an upcoming season? Well, I train. I try to train a lot, but I also play winter ball in Puerto Rico. Uh -huh. And now with my family, it's kind of hard to train all the time yeah. like I would love to, but I'm always spending time with family playing and trying to train at the same time. Yeah. Uh, who is the best pitcher you ever faced in your Best career? pitcher? I don't know. Uh, I felt like Juan Gardner was pretty good. Yeah. I faced Luriano one time, kind of coming out of the book, and his slider was pretty yeah. nasty. Yeah. What's your favorite food? Favorite food here in the States? Any food. Any food? I will have to say. Uh, onion filet with some mashed potatoes and asparagus. That's really good. Yeah. What is a hidden talent that nobody knows about you? Uh, I'm decent playing volleyball. 
Oh, really? That's why I want to try that sports team. Yeah. What's a pre-game ritual, something that you do always before a game you get ready? Uh, to get ready. See, I don't really have that many rituals. I always pray. Yeah, that's pretty much the only thing I can back out. I want to say 99% of the times I'll do. But other than that, it's like today I'm doing an interview, so I'm not going to do my stretching or my running. So it just changes. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite baseball team? Favorite baseball team ever? As of right now. Right now? Uh, I don't have one, seriously. Don't have one? Yeah, I'm not. In not really into the sports that I'm kind of picking guy. Uh, sure. Okay, then what's your favorite player? Right now, I'll have to say, hitting wise, Miguel Cabrera. Yeah. Uh, and Phil Ben Simmons. Oh, yeah. Uh, when you retire, what will be the first thing you'll do? Well, first thing is going to be, you know, give thanks to, the, to, the, to God for you know, letting me play all this time and have fun and meet new people. And then the next thing will be uh, trying to find a job, either coaching yeah. or scouting or yeah. whatever he has for me. I don't know what's the plan. Yeah, so the final question is, uh, you, Jeff Dominguez and Ruben Montanez are all born in Puerto Rico. How do you guys stay connected based on culture and being from the same country? Oh, uh, I guess during the games we talk a lot. We, you know, make jokes, have, you know, make fun of the other players, especially with Spino. Oh, yeah. He's not Puerto Rican, but he talks Spanish yeah. as well, so we're always joking around and having fun. And I feel like sometimes that's really good on the teams too, because you know everybody stays loose. Yeah. And you're you're it's, it, uh, sometimes this game is a game of failure, so yeah. sometimes you have to distract yourself and talk about anything else but the game, so yeah. you can you know whenever you go ahead, you're like focused on hitting again. Uh, uh -huh. Oh, that's a bad idea. This, oh, whatever. Yeah. All right, that's it. Thank you, Edwin, for no, your time. Thank, thank you.